Alright, so if you're in Godot and you're trying to make a grab attack like the one I'm going to demonstrate here, uh, there's a few easy ways to do it, and I'm just going to show you how to do that now. So if we open up our scene and take a look at it here, we can see that we have our uh, boss, which is just a Mixamo model with uh, a simple script put in there. And then we have our player character, which we'll take a look at now. It's just a simple state machine. All we're doing is just uh, declaring a state here, setting it to idle. And in our idle state, all we can do is just move up, down, left, and right. I mean, uh, back, forward, left, and right. And then we have a grab state and a flying state for when we get grabbed and we're flying through the air. So we'll go back to the 3D scene just to kind of walk through what happens. So we have our kinematic body here with the camera attached and when we move forward we enter this uh, collision shape right here which is our grab range. And that is just sending a signal and I just connected it through here to uh, on grab range body entered and that is this right here. Oh, sorry, let me make that a little bigger which is on our uh, it's on our boss character so if I go to the boss character script we have that function and all we're doing is taking in the body from the uh, area and saying that body is equal to player which is an on ready bar we have up here and then we're saying animation.play grab so we're gonna start playing our grab animation on the boss character so we move here and we can see there is another uh, I believe it's an area, yeah, an area with a collision shape on the boss's hand, and if that touches the character, that's when we move on to our next, um, our next part in the grab. So that's also connected to just the boss character script, and so that is the on area body entered here. Uh, we just say body dot get grabbed, and. So we can go to our player now, and that will have our get grabbed function. And so once the player is grabbed, we're in our player script, we get grabbed and we're passing in a position. So I think we're actually passing in the node here. So we have an on ready bar called use position. So all we're doing is saving in the position that's been passed, uh, the node that we are passing in. And then uh, we are setting our state to grab. So we then play this code right here. So we set our global transform.origin, which is basically where we are in the world, sorry, and we set that equal to the uh, node that we passed in, the position 3d.global transform.origin. And of course, this is in process, so this is updating um, with our frames. So we're going to basically stay where that point is on the hand, which is a uh, bone attachment that I have attached to the uh, Mixamo bone. So it'll look like we're in the hand. and. The other part of that is we're just going to play the animation. This part down here, if blue guy, uh, if we're not playing the animation flail, we'll go ahead and play that animation. So uh, the next thing that is going to happen in the grab is we're going to be released at some point and flown through the air. So we go like this, we go over here, and then right about there we need to release so if we come down here uh, I have this release player so to add functions to your animation all you have to do is add track call method track and then this is um, the node we want to call a function on and then uh, we can choose our functions here I already have this entered so I'm just gonna delete that track and you can also pass arguments through here if you want but we don't need any so we go back um, and we want to play. Uh, so this is the function that we'll play once we reach that point in the animation. And then we're calling on the player node, which we already received, dot release. Uh, and this is fling2 is just our position 3D that's way out here in the distance. So if I go back to our scene, there's a position 3D all the way down here, which, um, sorry, that's one of the lights. But this is where we are being flung to. We're just tweening from where we are to where that is. But that is actually a 
child of our uh, Mixamo boss here. So that way, if we fling it in a different position, it'll be flung somewhere else. I'll just hit Control Z. So uh, once we do fling to, uh, we're passing in that position and we go back to our player. And so this is the release function that we're calling on the player. We're passing in the position. We're changing our state to flying. So we're no longer updating our position based on where the hand is. Uh, now we're not updating our position based on anything except for this tween here which we are creating through code and then saying add child. Uh, we're adding it as a child of ourselves and interpolating our property. Uh, we're interpolating ourself. We're moving our translation. Um, this is just our starting point is our own translation. The position is where we're going to end up. Uh, five is the amount of time we're going to take. This is the type of transition and then this is the easing on it. And then that's just the delay, which we don't have any. And then we go ahead and say use tween.start. So all that culminates in us being thrown. And then down here we just have some lighting and some uh, other magma and stuff like that. Keep that playing. So then I'll go back here and we'll say visible collision shapes and we'll uh, run this one more time. And then maybe you can see a little bit better what's going on. So we're over here testing all of our animations on this really stupid skeleton. And then once we get within range We get picked up, and then we get thrown. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching.